Here with NBA draft prospect Daniel Gafford. Daniel, appreciate you taking the time. Not no problem. What's motivated you, you know, throughout your collegiate career, you know, your growing up high school? What's mo what's been the one thing that's motivated you playing basketball? Uh, one thing that's motivated me really is just, you know, the things that I can do with this, you know, talent that I have, you know, taking care of my family, taking care of myself, taking care of other people that I care about also. You know, that really motivates me a lot because, I mean, you know, basically they can be taken care of if I, you know, do what I have to do and work hard, you know. So what moment in your life do you think, you know, it kind of clicked for you that, listen, it's beyond just basketball. I, I got to take care of my family and, and do things beyond just, just the court. I, I say it started my eighth grade year. I mean, at the end of my eighth grade year, my coach came up to me and said I had a couple of scouts looking at me. And he was just explaining to me what scouts were and stuff because at that point in time, it was my first year playing basketball, like fully skit, like, fully fledged out basketball, for like eighth grade and stuff. And I mean, after that game, he told me and he explained like what scouts would meet me, like, you know, he explained it and he explained all the other stuff that can happen if I, you know, continue to work hard and continue to get better at the game of basketball. And it just showed me that I can actually take care of my family doing that. So you started first playing basketball in, in church uh, in eighth grade? Yeah, something like that. Give us, a, give us a full story on that. Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody wanted me to play basketball and I always wanted to give it a try because I liked basketball, but I didn't really think I was, you know, really skilled, you know, skill-wise, I didn't think I was at that level yet. So, I mean, when I first decided, decided to, you know, give it a try, I mean, it just showed that I had a lot of work to do. I was clumsy, tripping over my feet and everything. People were making fun of me and stuff like that. So I was like, I didn't want that to happen anymore. Yeah. So. Once I got that, once that, my coach had that talk with me about the scouts and stuff, you know, it showed me that it was time to put in some work and it wasn't time to play around anymore. It was time to be serious instead of, you know, being a kid. Those first memories when you were playing ball, like what was that like? Can you remember yourself messing up? Like, do you still think about those, those times? Yeah, I still think about them like it's just yesterday because I mean, you know, I barely could, be, I could barely could dribble the ball with my strong hand. You better get off with my left hand. You know, I was always tripping over myself. I was always, you know, the biggest kid out there, but didn't know what to do. Like I was like a chicken with my head cut off because I didn't do nothing but just run around. I didn't basically know the game of basketball at all, but, you know, it just, it just took time for me to get, you know, the concept of the game, and it just brought me here. So now you're a guy that's going to be vying for a lottery pick. What's that like, and, and do you feel like, you know, as far as best bigs in the draft, where, do you, where would you put yourself? Where are you, where are you looking at yourself? I feel right? like I'm up there at the top right now. I mean, you know, that's where, my, that's where my mindset is, you know, is to come in and show everybody what I can do and show everybody that, you know, I can be one of the best bigs in this draft because I know I am and I know I can be. What separates you? Basically, my motor, all the energy that I can give to the game, I try my best to go 110% or even more throughout every game I've played in. So a lot of NBA people have been looking at you even from last year, now this year. You know, you've gotten comparisons to DeAndre Jordan, Clint Capella. Who are, your, who are some of your NBA idols? Who do you think you pattern your game off of? Uh, with the comparison to Clint Capella, I mean, I've tried to pattern my game off him as much as I possibly can with pick and roll situations and all the other aspects with his defensive standpoint or, and like, you know, when it comes to being able to finish around the rim, stuff like that, his rebounding skills, all that. You know, I try to finish, I try to work on my game a lot, like how Blake Griffin has expanded his game because he was once a back to the basket guy. Now he's doing everything. He's shooting threes and everything. So I want to kind of like expand my game the way he did because I mean, I know it took hard work for him to do it. So I know I can do the same thing. So this whole pre-draft, you know, so far you've worked a lot on your outside shot. A lot of people don't know, you know, they're going to be able to see how excited are you for, for people to see, whether it's in workouts, you know, your pro day and whatnot, to see that you know, you, you can shoot it from deep. I'm real excited. I mean, like in college, I did everything I had to do, you know, to help my team win. You know, we came, we fell off a couple of games, but I did everything my team needed me to do, but besides take jump shots. So, I mean, showing people that I can actually shoot and stuff, is, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to surprise a lot of people because I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people out there that didn't think I could shoot. Is that one of those things you want to prove people you know, wrong as far as your, your Yeah, jumping. I want to show them that I can shoot. I want to show them that, you know, I got a motor. I want to show them a lot of stuff. 